hi guys welcome to jd's kitchen and thank you guys for stopping by today we are going to talk baby food so i have used nan one for my first born my second born and i never read the container to see like some important information that has been written on it i only realized after buying nan one for my third baby that's when i realized that there's some very important info that has been written on the back of this on the container and today i'm going to share some of those things that you did not know about nan one the first thing is it has some important notice which says that breast milk is best for babies and prevents diarrhea and other illnesses exclusively breastfeed for six months and continue breastfeeding to two years and beyond breast milk is not only breast milk does not only provide all the nutrients a child needs for his optimal development but it also positively influences his long life health before you decide to use any infant formula consult your health professional for advice now you can see the scoop i'm showing you guys on the container it also says that we should remember to use only this scoop now i see people using this nan and they take uh, maybe their tablespoon and they are scooping out milk and they are just measuring with their eyes it says on the container that use only the enclosed scoop using more or less powder than indicated will either lead to dehydration or deprive your baby of proper nutrition do not change proportions without medical advice a lot of people do it if you have done it before please remember to always use um the the scoop that you have inside your milk then it says also to maintain the number of living cultures the boiled water must be cooled down that's the boiled water you use to make your baby's milk must be cooled down to about body temperature before adding the powder now on the container you have the various measurements um it has number of measuring scoops and this is the scoop that you find inside the container not your own scoop that you decide to use so it says for um when you get to um it says number of measuring scoops three will go for 90 mils and on the container you can actually see the full details there okay i will do a video where i show you guys um i have actually filmed because you have seen my bottle my water and everything i filmed the video showing you guys how i prepare nan one for my baby and i will share that video with you guys immediately after this video goes up also on some of the containers of nan you would see it says that after three weeks of opening this milk um it's no more uh, you shouldn't give your baby anymore this particular container doesn't say that but i've seen another container that said that that after three weeks of opening you shouldn't um, um use anymore so we should watch the life um we should check the life uh, the shelf life of our milk while we give our babies also when you open up your nan container you're going to see that there's a surface area where you can leave your your scoop you don't have to drop it directly so i see some people take off this um this cover and then leave the milk completely open and then they drop the the scoop into the milk that can cause cross contamination because sometimes you're in a haste to make your baby's food before you realize it you have picked up the spoon you have not washed your hand and you get to now touch the the the, the, the handle of the spoon and then you drop it into the milk and there's just a process of cross contamination also um, on the container it says only prepare one cup at a time feed your baby immediately and follow the instructions exactly do not keep unfinished cup discard the contents reminder always hold baby while feeding leaving baby unattended may cause choking okay there's a lot of information on the container that i think we do not read so go ahead to check out the next video you're going to see the process i follow to make nan one for my baby thank you guys for watching please do me well to subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next video